Hi guys, have a nice day and thank you for watching English Carmo again and welcome to Juni Franco's or son of vlog for today. And you are lucky guys that I have time again to make a vlog for all of you kasi nga kinukulit na ko ng ilan ko yung Juni kailan ka to gagawa ng video. So as per requirement din sa akin as a YouTube vlogger or YouTube partner kailangan ko pong magpost at least ng video para sa inyo na gusto to update all of you guys of the things that is what is happening to me here in Dubai so this is a buhay sa Dubai vlog na madalas nyo pong pinapanood thank you so much to all of my 1,054 subscribers in my YouTube channel so today guys ang pag-uusapan lang po natin ay ang reasons why I stayed here in Dubai to all of my followers and friends in my Facebook knows na I have a time in my life na I decided I'm deciding if I'm gonna continue working here in Dubai or uuwi na lang ba talaga ako but then since mataas na po ang araw I have to wear this sunglass so this video can also help to those Filipinos who are confused kung teka mukhang hindi na maganda nangyayari sa akin dito or I'm not happy with my work or tapos na yung kontrata ko and they are not on a deciding stage of their life kung magtutuloy ba sila dito sa Dubai or hindi. Number one guys is because nasa Dubai na ako. Most of Filipinos now because Dubai is sobrang kilala na po siya. Dubai is really, really making names worldwide. And most Filipinos really wanted to come here. One of Yung ebidensya ko is the number of people watching my videos, Filipinos who are in the Philippines, or even Filipinos who are from other countries, are planning to come here in Dubai and get a job. So nandito na ako, and bakit kailangan ko pang umalis? Second guys is, Dubai is the only open city here in the Middle East. Even though this is a Muslim country, Marami pong Christians na nandito. So, for those Filipinos who are Islam, okay, from the Philippines, yung mga kaibigan po nating Muslim, or Muslim pala, Muslim, eh, they will be, feel like they were at home dito sa Dubai. It's because, of course, may mga, may mga, it's a Muslim country nga, so, wala na sila ng problema when it comes to their religion. But then to Filipinos kasi na, Christians and they were working in some other countries in the Middle East like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, etc. etc. Eh, medyo mahigpit po when it comes to other religion. So dito po sa Dubai, marami pong churches dito for Filipinos who are Christians. Okay, isa na po sa sikat dito is yung of course St. Mary's for, full, uh, for Catholic. And marami pong mga uh, born again Christians and even mga iglesia ni Cristo na nandito and then the rest and other religions meron po dito maaring wala pong church yung ilan but then they have this group okay and they find place to gather together and talk about God's, uh, God's word so yun po importante kasi sa atin religion is really important kasi parang yung backbone ng buhay natin na diba uh, in times of happiness and in times of trouble talagang kailangan natin ng Diyos na masasandalan and we need God also to praise Him for all the blessing that we are receiving here in abroad. So, as open city po, import, and, ang, ang kagandahan po nito is because they are trying to welcome yung other cultures. So, dito po, compared to other Middle East country, yung eh, nagagawa po ng mga Filipino, yung ilang nagagawa nila, yung karamihan sa nagagawa natin sa Pilipinas. Okay, so mas nai-enjoy po nila yung pamamasyal, yung pagbili ng pork, and kung ano-ano pa. Okay? And, my third reason is because, I don't know if I'm not sure, but I think Dubai or UAE is the only country na maaari kang mag-visit visa or mag-tourist visa and you can find work. Because the, 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 the local government, no, no, yung UAE government eh, inaalaw nila yon. that's why there are a lot of Filipinos coming here in Dubai as visit visa or tourist visa and while they are here eh, naghahanap po sila ng trabaho and from visit visa to tourist visa 
eh pwede pong malipat o mapalitan nyo ng employment visa you just need to exit somewhere near UAE or there are some companies na binabayaran po nila yung amnesty nun para po hindi na kailangan mag-exit okay so with that reasons hindi ko na kailangan umalis okay now uh, kasi nga nung natapos yung nung, nung nawalan ako ng trabaho eh after the cancellation maaari akong bumalik ulit and find a new, new job which fortunately right now eh before naman mag-cancel yung uh, cancellation visa ko sa awa man ng Diyos eh, nakakuha naman po ako ng trabaho and my fourth reason guys is because of course pag sinabi natin abroad salary is really higher compared to com compared to to jobs in the Philippines so sabi ko if I will going back in the Philippines so parang it's it's back to zero and I, I, I don't know if yung salary is the same as what I'm getting here but of course the answer is definitely no so pag sinabi po kasi natin salary it comes with responsibilities and lifestyle kung baan nasanay na ako ng ilang taon dito sa Dubai I have the lifestyle na nakasanayin ko na and then yung responsibilities ko with my daughter sa pamilya ko sa sarili ko eh medyo mahirap habulin kapag nasa Pilipinas ako and I'm not sure kasi if you know um, kung ano yung future meron ako in the Philippines although I'm not I'm not uh, losing my hope guys I, I still believe that since I still have a good profile naman sa Pilipinas I have the BPO background I have a bank background and sales background etc etc alam ko makakahanap ako ng trabaho but then mas malaki talaga yung sahod dito kahit sales lady ka lang dito or waiter ka lang dito yung, yung salary is really high so that's one of the reasons and my fifth reason guys is of course welcome to YouTube life and YouTube guys I admit really YouTube really changed my life the way how I see it and the way how I accept life kasi through through YouTube kasi I shared my life to everyone and people get inspired of what I'm doing here and I'm continuing that advocacy na pagtulong sa kapwa in, in some little ways na numari tayong tumulong sa kapwa na just through information you will be knowledgeable you, you will get parang uh, power especially to those Filipinos who just came here or Filipinos who are from the Philippines pa lang na bago sila pumunta dito eh well informed na sila through the videos na sinishare ko dito sa YouTube and it, it's, it's really hard na pakawalan yon. I will definitely going to miss it if in case na uwi ako sa Pilipinas. And YouTube really helps me a lot. Not only just for of course hindi dahil sa kumikita ako sa YouTube but because of yung mga natutunan ko sa buhay. Because of now because I'm doing documentaries and sharing tips and informations to everyone I'm become more sensitive to other people yun siguro yun and you know the appreciation of people watching me is is a high nakaka-addict po yun kaya thank you and my number 6 reason guys is because of course Dubai kasi is pro Pinoy to eh sabi ko nga there's pork here there are Filipino restaurants already napakaraming Pilipino dito parang nasa Pilipinas ka lang so you parang at home ka dito and number 7 reason is of course I am an OFW na kasi sabi nila kapag naging OFW ka na you will be forever OFW yun po yung totoo na talagang alam mo sa abroad, ang, sa abroad talaga ang buhay mo okay and my next reason guys is Dubai kasi is tax free okay and napakaraming sale dito so when it comes to gadget Filipinos here in Dubai is medyo updated kasi hindi naman ganoon sobrang mahal kapag dito mo pinili even you know even other for uh, yung mga foreigners are actually going here in Dubai or coming here in Dubai just to buy gadgets and we Filipinos love gadgets a lot so especially if your hobby is really like photography and videography <laughs> 
mura po dito yung mga gadget. Okay, and for number 9 is, yun nga, uh, one of the best reason na dito ko sa Dubai is because pakiramdam mo, you were in the middle of the world. In a way na kasi lahat ng mga ibang lahi nandito na. You got a chance to see different nationalities here, living here, working here, uh, and plus the fact na talagang yung lugar dito is ramdam mong nasa Africa. Maraming bagay dito na wala sa Pilipinas, of course. And that's something. And my number 10 reason, guys, is yung mga friends na nakilala ko dito sa Dubai. So, dito kasi kapag meron kang kaibigang Pilipino, parang automatic pamilya mo sila. Okay? Pamilya ko kayo kahit hindi ko kayo kilala personally but then when you become my friends, you're like my family. And I'm concerned also about you guys. Okay? Thank you guys. So yun po yung reasons ko. And surprise, before I end this video guys, I would like to greet of course the the following persons na nag-comment po sa Facebook account ko, especially po kay Brian Viscara of Mesa House. Malapit po siya sa Dubai Mall. Hello, hello sa iyo at sa lahat po ng mga staff ng Mesa House at ng Zarub Restaurants along Sheikh Zayed Road. Kina, sino ba nandun? Kina JB, kina uh, Ador, at sa lahat po sa inyo sa mga Filipino na nagtatrabaho. And of course, to all Filipinos na nagtatrabaho din of course sa Mesa House. Hello sa inyo lahat. Kina Mark, kay, uh, kay Berlin, kay Tofer, Kay sa lahat po ng mga cashiers namin sa tent, okay, sa Adjuan tent, hello po sa inyong lahat. And then of course, ito po coming from Facebook, hello po kay Michael Mendoza, sabi po ni Michael Mendoza, uh, regards daw, i-greet ko daw yung family niya from Bulacan, Prese Mendoza and Michael Mendoza, my sister in Doha, Qatar, my girlfriend, Jisrael Gabulane, her mom, Tita Marlene Gabulane, and he said, thank you, Zuni. And of course, coming from Shirley Ann Sumalinog Lao. Gusto po niyang patiin yung husband niya na scuba diver instructor sa Dubai. O dito sa Dubai. Sa album Diving Pujera. Sabi niya, thank you daw. See you soon. And Jimuel Lao po, name ng hobby ko. Hello sa iyo, Jimuel. Then of course, uh, greetings from Mac Robert Velches. Sabi niya, sir... Sir Juni, pag naman po ng pinakamaganda at pinakamabait kong nanay na si Melba Val Vilches at sa mga kapatid ko na nasa Balintawa, Quezon City uh, pakin pakisabi po na namimiss ko na silang lahat regards, regards po sa lahat ng mga Filipino na nasa Balintawa naalala ko dati, I and my sister dyan po kami bumibili ng mga saging ng mga kono na lang okay, and greetings from Kirby Mendoza, Silerio Sabi niya, Sir Juni, pakigreet naman po ng happy 7th anniversary anniversary ang girlfriend ko na si Frances Elise Diaz na taga Santa Isabel San Pablo City, Laguna. Hello sa'yo! Ano, happy anniversary sa inyo. Hindi po sinasabi anniversary niyo pala. Love, love, love! Okay, and the last one guys is of course greetings from Elsa La Rosa. Sabi niya, Sir, pakigreet po yung deep and deep family especially po sa Arabian brands at sa lahat ng pinsan ko dito sa Dubai at yung kapatid ko po sa Saudi na si Jojo La Rosa pakigreet po, God bless po sa inyo and thank you so much guys I would like also to greet of course people who like the, the shout out that I made kina Charlene Sumalde Sorsano to Julian Bernadote to the room or the room Jacobs and to Alexan Tampos, to Rick Yukero Duque, to Shirley Ann Sumalinog Lao, to Mac Robert Vilches, to Jess Cerezola Sumolostro, to Bev Rodriguez sa Cambodian, and hello sa boyfriend din niya, which na hindi ko alam ang pangalan, to Mary Jane Ronquillo Mango Labnan, to Lu Ju, to Michael Mendoza, and to Oconad Legna. Yan lang guys, uh, regards po of course sa lahat po ng mga Filipinos na nandito sa Dubai and to all Filipinos who are watching my videos from Philippines to all over the world. 
Have a nice day, guys, and God bless you all. Ciao! Bye-bye!